right, uh, Jeep Vlog Part 2. I just uh, turned it back on just in case anything happens. I may not air this. So, let's see if anything happens. <laughs> you never know, that's why I, uh, over, over here in fucking psycho land. Never fucking knew. It's a crazy place, New York. Cigarettes already. I gotta quit, guys. Well, we got some police activity up here. What else is new? So, yeah, Mitchie and uh, Sheepy, this is what we go through. <laughs> How do you like this? This is um, the Belt Parkway. I'm heading, uh, this is the same place I was the other day. Yeah, right. I'm heading um, westbound. I hope this thing's on. I don't think it is. But yeah, I'm heading westbound uh, towards Brooklyn. We're just on the borderline of Brooklyn and Queens right now. We have boroughs in America. We have, well, in New York. We have uh, Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, Manhattan, and Staten Island. So this is um, the borough of of Queens I'm in right now. I'm heading into the borough of Brooklyn, if you're not familiar with this. And if you're not familiar with fucking cops that like to fuck shit up on the highway, well, there's probably an accident. Looks like I see a flatbed. Of course. I'm not going to handle the GoPro while I'm driving because, uh, well, we got a lane splitter. See what's going on? You see what the fuck people do? It's fucked up, man. They don't even let you through. See, California, it's legal, so it makes no fucking sense why it's illegal here. Fucking ridiculous. It really is. So damn ridiculous. You know? I don't mind. I mean, if I gotta wait in traffic, if, uh, you know, in, in my car, I gotta wait in traffic, but if, uh, when I'm on my motorcycle, I absolutely do not need to wait in traffic, and I'm sure everybody that watches me, which, by the way, I'm, I'm glad that I'm, I'm acquiring such like-minded people on my channel, man. That, to me, is fucking priceless, man, is that I'm dealing with people that think like me, you know, for the most part. I mean, I'm not saying that we're all fucking uh, parallel here. But I'm telling you, you know, for the most part, we're into the same fucking things and, we, you know, we have mutual interest and that's, that's the type of people I want on my channel because I'll tell you the truth, if I ever look and somebody unsubs me, I'm going to be devastated, you know, so if you're watching me and you don't like me and you don't like my views, my voice or anything, don't sub me, but for the guys who did, I, I it means the world to me, man. If I ever lost one years in any way, I would be very upset. I'd, I'd be... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, no, I would be very upset. That I'm not kidding about. But, um, yeah, I wonder what's going on up here, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Butterino. Butteriski. Oh, I hear another splitter. There he goes. Smart people. This is so fucking ridiculous. Get the fucking car in the flatbed and go. As soon as you get on the bed, before you even secure the motherfucker, pull it over to the side of the road and do it there. Just get it on the bed. This is so stupid. People, I don't get it, man. Why common sense is not injected into daily fucking life? You know, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I'm not the most sensible motherfucker in the world, but Jesus Christ. You know, it's like, here's a great subject. When you see an accident, and it's a minor fender better, bender, and people stop in that exact spot like say I, I bumped into this guy in front of me and then he just wants to stay in the right lane because I bumped into him no pull over to the safety to the shoulder and then you worry about filling out accident reports and for everyone's information if you are rear-ended and you don't want to fucking fill out a report you are allowed to leave 
get the 911 operator to tell the guy, you know, or to tell whoever hit you. If you are the victim, which is a rear ender, you are allowed to leave. They can't detain you there, and it's not a hit and run. They hit you. You're the victim. But seriously, when you have an accident, get into a safe zone. Do not argue and, oh, wow, a license plate. Fuck, man. I like to grab license plates when I see them like that. But maybe I'll come back to that one. I don't know if that on video. Debris. This is a classic example of stupidity. Don't clean the debris up while you're fucking holding up traffic. But seriously. Authorized highway tow. There's another way they get you, Mitchie. You gotta have an authorized highway tow. You can't use a regular tow truck. Oh, left, left lane rule. You didn't know this was a law until about a month ago. That when you are passing a police officer, you are supposed to get one lane over from him on the shoulder. I didn't know that. Honestly, I'm sorry I'm such an ignorant motherfucker, but I didn't know that. Well, yeah, we're, we're hella moving now. Neighborhood. 
woods, but you ain't gonna find no motherfucking trails. Maybe here and there in these woods and shit. Like I seen the ATVs the other day. Sorry if there's wind noise, guys, but that's what I listen to. I'm trying to also hold this camera straight. I don't even know how this is coming out. But like I said, this may not even air, and this is just a test of the emergency broadcasting system. Here goes that new bridge again. I'm gonna replace the drawbridge. The drawbridge. Sorry about the accent. Drawbridge. It's the Drawbridge. Friggin'. 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 I used to work at a beer distributor on Loring Avenue and Fountain Avenue in, uh, over here in Brooklyn in, in East New York in the ghetto. It used to be an old bank that they made into a beer distributor and then it was owned by, uh, I can't really talk about it, but it was owned by a very, let's say, connected guy. That's the best way to explain it. It's, it's public record, actually, but I don't want to, I, I, I'm not a, a, at liberty to talk about stuff like that, guys, and that's the truth. And I'm not being a fucking wannabe or anything. I'm just telling you how it is in my neighborhood. But, make a long story short, I worked at this beer distributor <laughs> and lost my train of thought. But yeah, I used to work there, and um, there was a mechanic across the street named Joe. And he was from, I think, uh, it was North Carolina, and my boss sold him a Cadillac. And my boss used to like Cadillacs. He had, like, new Cadillacs. And Joe told him, Frank it! Frank it! Frank it! You got a Cadillac, but it ain't a good Cadillac like my Cadillac, Frank it! Your Cadillac is old, isn't as good as the old ones, Frank it! Frank it! Frank it! I swear he used to talk like that. And then there was a guy, and Marlon will remember this one, named Leroy, and he was from Maryland, from Ocean City, and he used to sell crabs in, in, the, in the ghetto. He had, a, he had an old school bus that was converted into a, a crab shack with uh, like fish tanks and stuff, and he used to drive it down to Maryland, fill up with crab, and come back and sell like crab cakes, crab kebabs, you know, crab creo, crab fucking tartar, crab this, crab that, crab everything. And uh, his name was Leroy, and, and one day me and Marlon were smoking a blunt, and he walks by the fucking car, and he goes, damn, smoking that shit by the dang. I swear. That's what he sounds like. I swear to God, he sounded like the General Lee's horn going off. That shit was hysterical. By the way, guys, I don't know if it's still recording, but I'm going to wing it and say it is. I haven't heard no beeping. I don't feel like pulling the camera back and getting taken out of its position. But I'll check when I get to my destination that's much safer than op operating things while you're driving. Which, if we could get that across to people, we'd be making some serious fucking progress. About to, uh, I'm on Flatbush Avenue right now. This is, uh, the world famous Flatbush Avenue. Not to be confused with Flushing Avenue. Which, she was working at a barbershop in Flushing, Queens. All my friends in Pennsylvania knew everything they knew of New York was from The Nanny, which is pretty embarrassing, because that's not a good depiction of New York, but especially when you have a maid who lives with a billionaire and is trying to bang him every fucking chance she gets. Well, no, that's pretty New York. Yep. Yeah, that's very New York. Hmm. And then marries him. Yeah, that's stupid New York. I'm gonna be shutting it down in a minute. But, um... <laughs> yeah, guys... Just wanted to try this out. Sorry to bore you. Got a lot of Queens stories. Got a lot of stories of these areas growing up. And uh, these are just a few. Nice Corvette. You guys see that shit? Nice. Like Corvettes, man. Like American cars, buddy. I was talking to uh, Sheepy about this yesterday. Mean Sheep, uh, I'm sorry, Mean Sheep, uh, Black Sheep Biker. And, uh, he was saying, you know, like how their their car, American car, crazy in New Zealand, and I know they are in um, Australia. So I kind of had a feeling. I also know a little about the a bit about the Mari, the natives of your country. Uh, I know a little bit, and I know, you know, like about the tribal tattooing and stuff like that, and you know, and they're basically like the Native American here. You guys have the Mari, and uh, you know, the Australians have the Aborigine. And, you know, I don't know much, but I know a little bit. 
you know, I, I really like New Zealand. Um, I've known about it for years, and it's such a beautiful fucking place. You guys are so lucky to live there. And I'm sure you guys probably hate it, just like everyone hates where they live, but that shit is nice, man. By the way, this is King's Plaza. This is a um, shopping center mall. And I've been coming, well, I haven't been here in a while, but I used to come here when I was younger. And my girl's here all the time. It's a really good mall, but, you know, there is certain elements around these areas that you gotta watch out for. You know, there's a lot of crime. But this area is actually predominantly a good neighborhood. Mixed in, in race and, and in religion. And those are usually the best neighborhoods in New York. That's like what I live in now. It's a mixed race, religion, um, creed, color, neighborhood. And uh, that's what Frank's about, man. Frank ain't about no fucking one color in life, man. Frank's a multicolor person. I don't mean I'm fucking rocking the gay pride flag. I'm not gay, but seriously, anybody who is, I got no problem with you. I have gay friends, and that's awesome. Good for you. But uh, God knows what really happened in Orlando. Not getting into it. But seriously, um, also, um, damn it, Renegade. Renegade Biker uh, 24, man. Like, make a shout out to you, buddy. Awesome videos, great point of view. Uh, like I said, like minded people. Love like minded people, man. Can't get enough of you guys. And uh, like you said, you know, don't hate, create. I'm getting old Jesse Jackson. Don't alleviate, emancipate, and allegate. I not only deny the allegation, I deny the alligator. <laughs> but, uh, guys, butter. There's a little shack of a restaurant right here. There's a lot of them over here on, on, in Brooklyn, on the water. This guy's, uh, by the way, during Hurricane Sandy, this spot right here was under probably a few feet of water, but down about a quarter mile, I would guess, was under, uh, quite a bit of water. <laughs> it was under, um, I'm sorry, about six feet of water. So yeah, get the NYPD next to me. I would like to get them to say what's up to YouTube. Guys, if I point the GoPro at you, can you say what's up to YouTube for me? No, all right, no problem, that's why I X first. No, I asked first, bro. I, for a positive image, that's why. Because every cop I've been meeting lately is really nice, man. I appreciate it. That's why I asked first, man. Thank you. You too. Thank you. I'm not using my phone while I'm driving either. <laughs> Thank you, man. That was cool. They didn't want to be on camera, though. That's cool. Just wanted it for my blog. That's awesome. Though. Very nice to uh, the cops lately, but you know, I understand the apprehension. Look at this. Look at this. Look at you. Say hi to YouTube. That's funny. Holy shit. See what I mean, guys? That's why the camera stays on. Holy shit. Unfucking believable. Say hi to YouTube, fucking retard. Sorry to use retard, guys. I have friends that are mentally handicapped or have relatives that are. Uh, they're smart. That's a retard. <laughs> Holy shit. That was fucking stupid. The guy was going head-on traffic. I just was talking to the cops. They don't fucking see it. I, I don't know how the fuck this shit works, man. I tried, though, guys. I tried to get the NYPD to say hi. You know, I don't like to forcefully do it, even though it's my American right. But to have courtesy for them, you know, maybe the guy's, you know, doesn't want his face on for personal reasons. Maybe he does undercover work or something like that, so... I shut my mouth and I said thank you. And they were very nice too, they were polite. And I told them, I said, you know, lately a lot of the younger officers, and I can say this now at 41 years old, because a lot of the cops are fucking half my age, a lot of the officers are so fucking nice, man. They really are. And uh, I'm glad to see that, man. I want to see a good positive image with the police, even though I'm a, uh, what they would consider a convicted criminal for a fucking pot. But uh, even though that's what they would, yeah, you're welcome, asshole. Even though that's what they would consider a uh, criminal with two felonies for bullshit, I don't hate the cops, man. They got a job to do. This shit is fucking hard, man. I wouldn't want to fucking do it. I, I could have. I could have became a cop. I had the choice. 
Everybody does. As long as you fit the bill and you uh, do the right thing, everybody has that choice. I'm gonna be signing off in one second here, well, a couple seconds, but I wanted to really get them to say hi to YouTube, but eh, it's not important. You know, their job is important. Their safety's important. Everybody's is, and Frank's in a real positive mood today, man. Steve's gonna be mad at this one. No angry Frank today, Steve. Frank's trying, man. Frank is trying. It's all you can do in life, just try. But uh, yeah, I'm about to sign off. I'm about to have a lady walk in front of me. Please don't do that. I've already hit three people. Don't need to hit anymore. That's another story there, guys. <laughs> Pulling up now. Later.